All right, guys, so we have some Sens contract news to talk about today as Connor Brown signed a three-year deal worth $3.6 million with the Ottawa Senators. Fortunately, the Sens avoid arbitration on this one because, as I mentioned in a previous video, sometimes when you go to arbitration, it can kind of maybe ruin, uh, put a bit of a dent at least in a relationship with a player. So you want to avoid that. And they get more than a one-year deal with Connor Brown. So the Sens and Connor Brown have that security too going forward. For the Sens, it's a good deal. Uh, obviously, we are, the report came out yesterday that Connor Brown was asking for $4.8 million for, for uh, four or five years, I believe it was. I mean, that, that was, that's just way, a way too big of an overpayment for Connor Brown. I love Connor Brown. I think he's a great player. He's got, he's got good penalty killing instincts. He can chip in offensively too. He, he's not, probably not a guy you really want on your power play if you want to be a good team. No offense to him. He's got some decent skill. I don't know if he's got that top six, uh, true top six forward ability anyways. He can play in the top six if there's injuries for sure. There's no doubt about that. But I don't really see him as a guy that can be in a top six role on a contending team full time because I just don't think that he has enough offense to really provide that in a top six role. I think he's better suited as like a good third line player. I think that's also a good reason why the Sens got him at 3.6 million is because you don't want to overpay a guy like that because just because he played on your first line last year, hopefully he won't have to play on the Sens first line this year because they'll have better players. They have some prospects coming in now that can take that spot and have Connor Brown maybe slotted more properly on a second or third line duty here this upcoming season. Through 71 games last year, he scored 16 goals and 27 assists for a total of 43 points. He's, like I said, he played higher up in the lineup, so I don't know if he'll really be getting that this year. That's why I think it was smart for the Sens to get him under $4 million for three years. And we, we, we know that now Chris Tierney has to go through arbitration potentially. Hopefully they can avoid that with him. They avoided that with Nick Paul. Now they've avoided it with Connor Brown. Hopefully they can avoid it with him, with Chris Tierney and Christian Yarosh. But we'll see what happens there. But getting back to Connor Brown, like I said, I think he's got good uh, upside offensively. I don't know if he is a true top six forward. I think he's, like I said, he's better suited further down the lineup. And maybe he's going to play that uh, further down the lineup on the second or third line rather than the first line this year with the Sens having some better prospects coming up here uh, for this upcoming season, such as, such as Stutzel. I mean, Josh Norris maybe makes a, a, a bit some noise coming to the lineup. I think Drake Batherson, Alex Formanton, I mean, they got some good forwards here that could potentially bump Brown a bit down the lineup. But I think he's still going to be a serviceable player. But that's all I have to say on this contract for now. Please like and subscribe and share this video. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.